Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video it's going to be another unboxing video and I'm going to be unboxing this Aero Classics 1400 scale Hawk British Airways Hawker Sidley HS748. Now this is probably the smallest 1400 model that you could probably ever find. Uh, I know the Gemini Jets have done one of the uh, like Logan Air slash Flight B Saab 340 uh, but I don't really think they can get much smaller than this so they're sort of like similar sizes. This is I think smaller than my Viscount model. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the wingspan's bigger, but it's about the same length. But my Viscount model is 1 to 500. And spoilers, that's going to be probably the next model that I'm getting because I want a 1 to 400 model of that and a 1 to 500. So, yeah, this is 1 to 400. Uh, it is in Landor, of course, because that's my favourite livery of all time. I managed to get this from Switzerland, so they are still knocking around the place. I believe there's one still on eBay that's from Hong Kong. Uh, that's about 45, 50 pounds if you want to get it, but I managed to pick this up for about 40 from Switzerland because I managed to actually search around websites and look up for one that was cheaper. So, uh, yeah, that is how I managed to get this model. So we can have a look at the box. Uh, we've got a nice uh, thing by Aero Classics here. We've got the picture of the plane at the bottom. Of course, they've got, uh, like, a, I was going to say glass then, yeah. <laughs> they've got clear plastic where you can see uh, through to the model there, but I won't look at it too much because I want to look at it when we actually unbox it. This is Aero Classics, the Heritage Collection of British Aviation, and Hawker Sidley HS 748. Uh, this was actually designed by Avro originally, if you didn't know. Uh, and then it was originally the Avro 748, then it was the Hawker Sidley 748. Then it turned into the British Aerospace 748 because, yes, it did last that long. Oh, we've got a picture on the side. They've got, that's the uh, Nagus and Nagus livery. Golf, Bravo, Charlie, Oscar, Echo. And then Golf, Bravo, Mike, Foxtrot, Tango. I just call that G Bonfut. <laughs> oh, they've got the three, oh, they've got like three different versions. Ah, I believe they have that with a Viking or something like that. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, so if you wanted uh, any of the other versions, I believe Gemini Jets have done a version of this one with the British titles. So I'm actually give that still. Yeah, they've done uh, this with the British titles, which is just the Nagus and Nagus livery. I believe that's the uh, superior version. It looks a lot nicer than just that childish text, which is, uh, yeah, where it says British Airways, but of course that. It's a superior livery, so uh, let's actually take it out of the box then. This is a very, very small box. If you don't know, I've actually got my camera right up against the wall. Normally, I'd have it right at the back of my desk because sometimes the boxes are big, or even if they weren't big, they'd be like tall enough so that I would need to bring it back a little bit. But this, I've got it right at the front, and I can't actually get into the bloody thing. Right, I've opened that up. Uh, let's turn it the right way. Let's take it out like so. Uh, just put that back down. Uh, so I can actually take the rest out because I do have a tendency of trying to break them when I'm not like when I'm trying to open it on camera. I'm trying to get this bit off here. It's like it's taped down. No, it's not taped down. <laughs> I was mistaken. Uh, so we take that off and we take this out like so. And there we go. That's the HS748. Look at that. That is tiny. That that is my hand size. Like <laughs> this is that 757. This is the 748. It's tiny. <laughs> yeah, it's probably definitely going to be my smallest one 400 model. So what are my first impressions of this? Well, it's actually better than I thought it was going to be. Because I remember seeing pictures of it on eBay, and of course I saw it on the, on the Swiss website as well. But I think because they were so zoomed in, and the pictures were enlarged so much, that it, it kind of accentuated how small the, the like, how the, the worst quality, because the model was smaller, but as far as I can tell, that is very, very accurate. Have they got spinning props? Yeah, they have got spinning props. Better be careful with that then, because uh, I did manage to break one on the Viscount model. It's modelled quite well, it looks like. Uh, the livery seems to have been done very nicely. Uh, the land or livery, of course, being my favourite. Oh yeah, do the wheels turn? That's one of my favourite things to know. Uh, they don't, but that's kind of... Uh, <laughs> I'll let them off, because that's a very, very small model. Uh, and if they did, then that would kind of complicate it. But it does have some spinning props, which are quite nice, which I will be careful with, because on my Viscount model, I've already broken two of them, I think. So, yeah, I'll try and be careful with this one. But this is now my sixth Landlord model, I've just realised. But I am trying to get a bunch of Landlord models, because they are my favourite. And, oh yeah, something which I didn't say at the start. This model, I've been wanting to get for about two years. I've been wanting to get a HS748 for about two years, and there was always another model which came along which I wanted, and I never got this one, and I finally decided to make a list of all of the models that I made, uh, that I made, that I wanted. The British Airways Landor 757 was the first one, and this is the next one in nine. I'm like, get that model finally. And then a model has just been announced by Gemini Jets, which is really annoying because that's one of the ones on my list, and it's going to have to go to the top now, even though it's very expensive. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> Just mine like, and in fact, hang on, I think there's something in the box. It's a card. Apparently, this was the last one made. 222 of 222. Huh. What else is good about it? I'm trying to look if there's any things wrong with it. I can't seem to tell. The colours look right. They have got the grey right. Because on the Landor 757, I saw that was the way that they actually, that the grey was supposed to be. Because on uh, the Gemini Jets ones that I've got, the grey is way too dark. They've done it way, way, way too dark. Uh, oh, so I'm yawning. Um... <laughs> And just woken up while I'm yawning. There is a very, very nice detail. They have got the nose right as well, which is uh, uh, something which a lot of manufacturers seem to get wrong. There's anything... Oh, yeah, there's like the red under the wing. Gee, bum foot, as I keep calling it. Uh, oh, on the tail, they've got... Uh, which you probably can't see because I won't go in focus. Can you go in focus, please? I don't know if you can see, but on the top there, what I'm trying to show, if it would actually focus, is um, there's a, like, a red strobe thing poking up. Adds a little bit of detail to it. Yeah, overall, I think this model's quite nice. If you can find one of them, uh, then you should definitely get it. It will be the smallest 1 to 400 model that you'll probably ever get. The wingspan is massive. <laughs> Look at that! The wingspan is huge. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, I made a uh, HS748 in Minecraft, and I did it for a tutorial, and I remember thinking, oh, well, the wings are a bit wide. I think I need to widen a bit more, because it obviously wasn't enough. They are really big, I didn't quite realise how big they were. So, I think I'll end this unboxing video here, because I keep on trying to look for things and I can't find it. Overall, I think this model is just very, very nice. Oh yeah, and then they've got the name of this, which I can't remember, It was it Glen something or other? I don't know if it says on the box. Oh yeah, Glen Isla, that was the name of this. It, yeah, Glen Isla, I think it's like some island in Scotland or whatever. Uh, basically, these were used on the uh, BA Scottish services and they sold them off to Logan and everything. Anyway, that'll be the end of this unboxing video here, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video if you decide to use that one as well. Bye! <laughs>